Thank you, uh, Mr. President. We're thankful to, the, to Peru for accepting recommendations aimed at eradicating discrimination against LGBTIs. Although we, they have corrected Legislative Decree 1150, which punished homosexual acts, and in general, the Constitution prohibits discrimination uh, for uh, various reasons, the detractors of the rights of the LGBTI community hide behind the fact that it does not express explicitly the rights of sexual orientation and gender identity. The law against discrimination by sexual, for sexual um, orientation and gender identity has been systematically blocked by fundamental sectors, which are supported by uh, spheres of power, assuming that they, that we are in a um, that they are in a religious state in, spac in spite of the fact that the Constitution guarantees a secular approach to freedom of ideologies. We hope that the proposal of a law for gender identity, which is extremely important for the transgender community, will not f see the same f negative fate. In terms of the National Plan for Human Rights, we've seen that, our, once again, our voices have not been heard. It is not based on a diagnostic of the situation of human rights, nor are there impact indicators which uh, show in a satisfactory way. And there's been an interruption in the participative approach. Um, we would like to call on the proving government to be more explicit in applying the Yogyakarta principles as a guide for the elaboration of public policies, which establish basic uh, standards which are deny increasingly denied and to put an end, uh, put a stop to the uh, social exclusion of transgender persons protecting their economic, social and cultural rights. We are confident that Peru will know how to follow the path of uh, broad and constructive dialogue, thinking of all of its citizens and guided by principles of equality and justice, I thank you.